do you think life in climbing is the way it should be or not? In other words, are you striving for a future that you think will be better than today? When we think about things like war, for instance, we look back in the past and we see that for a long time we've had war over eons. We have war present now in, our, in, in the world uh, and likely have war in the future. We think about climbing, you know, in past climbing, you know, you have struggles. Now in the present, you have struggles also, and you're likely to have struggles in the future. So when we look at how life is now, how it's always been in a sense, then it kind of calls into question why we would think we can create a future that is better than today. So I think that what we, what we need to do is we face a paradox. We need to both accept life as it is and work toward making it better, but only in specific ways, not in a general change in the structure of how life is. So for example, we're always going to have struggles in our lives. So it's not that we're striving for a future that is better in the sense of not having struggles, we're striving for a future where we can deal with those struggles better. So when we're resisting reality or re resisting how life is, uh, it creates anxiety. It's like we're, we're torn between how we think life should be and the reality of how life is. So it's like we're constantly struggling and resisting because of how we want life to be. This diminishes our enjoyment and our effectiveness. So if we think of some climbing examples, like if we have a, like a small hole like this, well, this, this might be a, a jug for, for some climbers. Let's turn it around this way. It's a little bit more positive like that. If, we, if I grab that hole and I'm wishing that it was bigger, then I'm gonna struggle with the reality of how big it is. Or if I'm creating an outcome that falls short of my expectations and I get frustrated, then I'm, I'm resisting and struggling with the fact of what that outcome was. So the reality is that the holes are the size that they are, right? And the reality is the outcome is whatever it was. So the, the resisting the size of the hole, like wishing it was bigger or getting frustrated is really just not accepting reality as it is. So reality meaning like right now, you know, there's a future, yes, that we can work toward, but accepting the reality right now for what it is helps us take action more quickly. So there's the concept of necessity is the mother of invention. Well, if I'm grabbing unusable holes, like if this is unusable for me, then there's a necessity. It, it creates a necessity that I need to work toward so I can take action toward, you know, to satisfy that, that need and that necessity. There's, I like to research uh, different literature to get me to think about these concepts. And the, the Zen tradition has always caused me to really challenge the way I think. And so there's one, one saying that comes from the third patriarch of Zen, Sinsen Ming, that I thought was pretty intriguing and kind of related to this topic today. And what he said is that the great way, in other words, the, the Tao, is not difficult for those who have no preferences. So you start thinking about that and you might say, well, that's lame, you know, it's like, how could you live life like that? It's like you don't care about how things are gonna turn out. So I had to like think deeper, like what could he mean and how would that really apply in the mental training context? And this is how I understand it in a helpful way. We do have preferences by setting goals that, that move our lives into directions that create meaning and purpose. 
And when we are on a journey toward those meaningful goals, we have no preferences. We have no preferences because we need to learn something. We're going through those struggles. We're going through the stress. And every preference that we have about how it's supposed to unfold, like creating expectations, interferes with being able to learn. Because by definition, learning means we, we have to expose ourselves to new information and integrate it into what we already know, or maybe even tear down some of what we know and build a better foundation. So preferences interfere with that profit process. So we have preferences for where we want our lives to go, that direction, but when we're engaged in it, no preferences. That way we can be receptive and adaptive and flexible with how life is unfolding. So if we can accept situations as they are, then we can more quickly take effective action so that we can move our lives in the direction that we want and probably speed it up and enjoy it a lot more anyway. The future will be just like it is today in a broad context of struggles. It's just those struggles will be different. That's your lesson for today. You can go to warriorsway.com, check out the full text and audio, and check out our books and courses. And we'd love to work with you with your mental training needs. Thanks.